Hi Flosstube, this is Jamie and I am back with an update on my cross stitching. Since my last video, I have not done a ton of cross stitching, which I know is terrible. Like I need to stitch everything all the time because I have so many things going on. But I did a diamond painting. I don't need another hobby, but I decided to do one anyways. So I got my first diamond painting in August. I decided I wanted to have it finished by October. It was not done yet by like the last week of September. So I was like, that is all I can do for like this last week. It's it. And I just spent all my time doing it. And because of the way that like I am, as you have seen from my projects, I picked like the biggest diamond painting that I could in the picture that I wanted. Like I found a picture and I was like, how big, can, how big can I get this? And the biggest size was 60 by 45 centimeters. So I got the 60 by 45 centimeters. And yeah, it was huge. And I like diamond painting, but it is hard when you can only do it like in one spot. Like I have like one table that could fit it. And so I couldn't go like anywhere else and do it. Like I couldn't just like go follow my kids around the house and like, like with stitching, you can take your stitching anywhere. You can take it in the car, you can take it to your kids' room. With diamond painting, you're kind of stuck in one location, so it was like kind of harder to fit time in for it, but it was fun. I liked it. I have another diamond painting that is also 60 by 45 centimeters that I need to do. I don't know when, but I have one. I'm crazy. There's another one that I want to order that's a Game of Thrones diamond painting. It is awesome. I don't need it and it is it is bigger than the other ones I did I think it's like 60 by a hundred centimeters or something crazy like that but I don't know yeah so I was diamond painting I also was playing video games I really like video games my favorite game series is Kingdom Hearts and there is a new Kingdom Hearts game coming out January 29th I am super pumped I have been playing all the Kingdom Hearts games in preparation for the new one so that's been taking a lot of my time. All the time. But yeah. So, stitching related things that have been going on. I fully finished two of my pieces because I had two things that I had finished the stitching but I had never actually turned them into fully finished objects. I have them here. Where are they? Where are they? Okay. My first one, I framed it. I did lazy framing it. I like I can't even really call it ghetto framing because I didn't like it's not like pieced together. I just kind of threw it in there. So I'm gonna call it lazy framing. I found a frame that fit this. I threw the piece in it. I didn't lace it. I didn't tape it. I didn't do anything. I just threw it in the frame. The back is on there like normal, like it's not taped on or anything, but it's lazy framed. And this is Christmas Presents by Miles Pinkney, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, and it was a freebie stitch along in 2015 if you were on their bulletin board. I stitched it on 18 count Ada, two over one full cross, and I finished it in February of 2018. So yeah, there's this guy. Lazy framing. Love it. He is ready to go on my walls. Yes, it is not even Halloween, but yes, I will be hanging it up. It's going up. My next finish was the tiny Christmas stitch along I turned into a pillow. Yay, fabric from Hobby Lobby. This design was the tiny Christmas stitch along from Armada Designs. She released it in December 2017. I finished it in December 2017 and I had not actually turned it into anything yet. So Turn it into a pillow, mini pillow, whoa, it's so squishy. I had to hand sew the pillow though because I don't have a sewing machine. Like halfway through it, I was like, can I glue this? Do I even have glue? I didn't have glue. Who doesn't have glue? Like what kind of a crafter am I to not have glue? So yeah, I sewed it. I think I did decently enough sewing it hand sewing. I don't hand sew things ever so it was kind of like a learning experience for me. I was really nervous. I feel like my hair is being all funky. Ah, okay, moving on. Stitching. 
I have a car project because I have to go pick up my son from school. Sometimes there's like a wait, so I have a project. My car project is Death by Cross Stitch, which most car projects are small. Death by Cross Stitch is not small, but it doesn't require a floss box because all of my other projects are large. They require a lot of colors of floss, so they're not good for the car. So this is my Death by Cross Stitch on 18 count Ada, one over one full cross. And I my what I've done is like from here-ish, there's the first alphabet that's going to be showing up right there, which I love. Love it. I love the way that it's turning out. I love the floss color. It's a variegated floss from Silks For You. I will show you what the floss looks like because it's pretty. It's like purpley, greeny blues. But I will say that I do not like using variegated floss for something that's this large because I feel like I spend a lot of time trying to avoid stripes or trying to avoid if I end a, end a floss strand that I'm picking up a floss strand that doesn't not go in the area. So if like I'm stitching with like ending with like a purple, I don't want to be starting abruptly with like a green, you know, I don't know. I'm probably like really overthinking it. Most people probably would not care as much as I do. I don't know. But yeah. So. Silk. I love it. I have my floss and bags. I'm a baggy user now. I used to be all into bobbins and then I realized I hate bobbins. I hate them. Like I hate having to like unwind it and rewind it and then when you buy a new one you have to wind it. Bags. Throw it in. Zip it up. And you're done. So my next project that I worked on that I've been working on for years since 2012 when I made my old floss tube videos, it was the project that I was always working on because I wanted to finish it. This project is not going away. This is the Toy Box by Donna Gelsinger from Heaven and Earth Designs, stitched on 28 count even weave, two over one tent stitch. What I worked on was this page here. It goes boop, and then like that. I got like half a page done. This is one end of the page. Here is the bottom of the page. I finished the girl's face, the blocks, the doll coat there. This window here is confetti though. So much confetti. I cannot stand the confetti. This, of all the heaven and earth charts that I've ever done, this has the most confetti ever, ever. And I cannot stand it sometimes. Like it drives me crazy. So this is the full piece. I'm gonna love it when it's finished, but sometimes working on it, sometimes working on it is like a chore. So I'm switching from that. And the reason that I'm switching is for one, I was getting tired of the confetti. I needed a break from confetti. And then my sister gave me a good reason to switch because my sister was working on Death by Cross Stitch. She finished Death by Cross Stitch, which is like, Congratulations, like go her to finish Death by Cross Stitch finally. And she was actually doing Death by Cross Stitch in the same color floss that I am. Like we apparently were like super matchy or something, I don't know. So yeah, <laughs> she finished Death by Cross Stitch and she decided she wanted something that was like Christmassy to work on. And not necessarily Christmas, but like a wintery thing because she didn't have any projects that were wintery. So she decided she was gonna start Mini Home is Where the Magic is, which I am also working on. I started it for my new year, new start of 2018. And so yeah, she decided to start it and I was like, hey, I'll stitch it with you. We can make our own like sister stitch along. We laughed about it, we joked. I put it on Instagram. I was like, sister stitch along, ah. Cause we're the only ones doing it. It's not really a stitch along if two people are doing it, is it? I don't know. So yeah. I am working now on Mini Home is Where the Magic is. I started it last night. I started working on it again last night. And this is it. It is a Randall Spangler by Heaven and Earth Designs. And move this needle minder. When I had previously worked on it, I had done all of this page. This is a completed page. This is page three of the chart. Page two was halfway done. And then page one is doesn't have that much done. It was like just like here and then up like there. 
So I've been filling in this column and I plan on working my way over back over to page two. And yeah, that is the progress on that. I love this one has like big blocks of color. It's a mini, so you would think there would be a lot of confetti, which I'm guessing the house will be a lot of confetti, probably. But the background is lots of like big blocks of like blues and like blacks. And so it's like really nice compared to the toy box. I'm happy. Too much confetti drives me crazy. So yeah, those are my projects. That is what I've been doing. Something I was going to talk about is in Stitch and Mommy's videos, she was talking about next year doing year with no starts. I want to do that. Like, deep down, I know that I want to do that. I know that it's easy to get pressured, like not pressured, but to see other people working on things and then to be like, I must start something, I must do that, I want that. Yeah, we all know. But I want to do it, so I'm going to think about that. Like, by when it gets closer to the end of the year, I'll decide if I actually am going to do that. But I want to try because I have a lot of full coverage pieces that are going to take a lot of time. So I could easily probably do like 10 years with no starts and not run out of things to stitch on because of like, I have Eternal Promise, that's super size. Tarot Town 2 is like 50 pages. The Far Pavilions is probably at least 30 pages. Mini Home is Where the Magic is is 12 pages. I've got a lot. And then I, I have Death by Cross Stitch. I'm only done with like four pages out of 16 on that. So yeah, but we'll see what I decide to do. So that is my stitching. I will insert pictures of my diamond painting. Hopefully I inserted them earlier in the video when I talked about them. And that is my update. I would like to thank everyone who watched, everyone who gave a thumbs up, if you gave a thumbs down. I don't know if I had thumbs downs, but if I had them, thank you, why not, sure. You watched my video enough to give it a thumbs down, so I mean, thanks for the watch, I guess. Thanks to everyone who commented, I read all the comments, and thank you to everyone who subscribed. I cannot believe that people are actually watching my updates, but yeah, so thank you, I will see you again later. Bye.